Hello everyone. Today we will see how to bake this easy and simple chocolate walnut cake. To bake this cake, I have taken an 8 inches round cake pan. If you don't have a round cake pan, you can take a square tin also. You can use an 8 or a 9 inches pan. Place a baking paper or a parchment paper at the bottom and spread some oil or butter so that the cake comes out easily without sticking to it. And also preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius for about 20 minutes. And then take about uh, 3 fourth cup of chopped walnuts and uh, microwave it for about 20 to 30 seconds so that the walnuts are nice and toasted so it will taste very nice in the cake. Next take the chocolate chips and the walnuts in a bowl and add about half a teaspoon of flour to it and mix it well so that uh, the walnuts and the chocolate chips don't sink to the bottom of the cake but it will be well spread all along the cake and uh, it will taste very good. You can use half a cup to 3 fourth cup of chocolate chips. I have used 3 fourth cup of chocolate chips. Next we will start preparing the batter. For this cake we need 4 eggs. Uh, make sure the eggs are at room temperature. Add 2 eggs at a time and beat it well. Add a little bit of vanilla essence. I have added 2 teaspoons of vanilla and beat the eggs until it is nice and fluffy. Once the eggs are beaten, add the remaining 2 eggs and uh, continue to beat these 2 eggs also till it is light and fluffy. The next ingredient that we are adding is the granulated sugar. We need 1 cup of sugar for this recipe. Add the sugar and beat it along with the eggs. Beat it till it is nice and well incorporated. Then we will add the oil. We are using 3 fourth cup of oil. I have taken refined oil. Add it in. All these makes the wet ingredients and you can beat the wet ingredients very well. Beat it till it is well incorporated. After beating all the wet ingredients, we will start adding the dry ingredients. For this, place a sieve over the bowl and uh, first add the plain flour or the all-purpose flour. And then add quarter cup of cocoa powder and then add some salt and baking powder. Since this is a chocolate cake, I like adding some coffee powder to it. I am adding some instant coffee powder. The coffee increases and enhances the flavor of the cocoa, the chocolate. So I always like adding some coffee to my chocolate cakes. So see this in. Take a spatula and mix it all together. Use a spatula till it all comes together and then switch to a beater. Don't over beat the batter. Beat only for about 30 seconds till the batter becomes smooth and well combined. Mix it all together and then add the walnuts and the chocolate chips that we uh, prepared earlier. Mix everything in together and uh, this makes our chocolate batter. Take the prepared pan and add the chocolate batter into the cake pan. Scrape it all in and add it into the pan. Tap the pan once or twice on the countertop so that the cake batter spreads evenly. I added some uh, walnuts on top of the batter to decorate the cake. And I also sprinkled some chocolate chips on top of the cake. Um, if you don't want to do this, you can sp skip this step. Then bake in the preheated oven. My oven was preheated and ready. Bake for about 50 to 60 minutes or until a skewer comes out clean. Each oven is different. My oven took about 60 minutes. But you can start checking from 45 to 50 minutes itself. Put a skewer or a knife inside and check if the, bat if the skewer comes out clean. Then your cake is ready and then you can take it out. My cake took about 60 minutes to bake. And uh, so that's it. Our uh, chocolate walnut cake is done. It's such a beautiful, tasty cake. To check if it's done, put a skewer or a knife anywhere in the cake and the skewer should come out clean. Now the walnuts and the cocoa powder has a tendency to be bitter in nature. So make sure you don't over bake the cake. If you over bake the cake, then the cake will be slightly bitter. So make sure you bake for the right amount of time and remove the cake from the oven at the right time. 
Now let's cut the cake and see. It's such a beautiful cake. This is a perfect cake for a tea time. If you love chocolates and walnuts, then you will definitely love this cake. This cake tastes fantastic as it is. But if you want, you can also add a layer of ganache on the top and then serve it. That will also be very nice. So do try it out. My family enjoyed this cake and I'm sure your family will enjoy it as well. Until next time. Bye-bye.